Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana Gear Up YouTube channel. We're so excited that you joined us today. As Indiana Gear Up works to build capacity and resources and to be of support to our schools, teachers, parents, students, and community partners, we first want to let you know of ways in which we can connect. As you're joining us today on our YouTube channel at Indiana Gear Up, please subscribe to our page, share with your friends, family, any community members that may be interested in learning more about the resources or projects that we're working on uh, throughout the remainder of the year into the summer, professional development that we have, as well as preparing for next year. Uh, you can find us on social media platforms such as Facebook at Indiana Gear Up, Twitter at Indiana Gear Up, as well as Instagram at Indiana Gear Up. Also, you can reach out to us via email, indianagearup at purdue.edu. We have staff members behind the scenes who are readily available to answer any questions that you may have. Um, today, we'll be looking at how you connect with us on our website at indianagearup.org. And more specifically, our resource tab that's available for teachers right now. Um, we have an Indiana Gear Up COVID-19 resource folder that's available and it's free. This was developed um, by a seasoned expert of team, uh, a team of regional directors um, who have really just have an ample amount of experience in the education field. Uh, there are several documents here um, that you can browse through and use at your leisure. Uh, today, more specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the Gear Up Educational website resources. And each day we're going to be sharing a tutorial on one of these websites that is specific to the subject for the high school level, the link that is available, the description, as well as the services that are currently offered. Again, we hope that, that this can be of use to you now or in the near future for teachers, uh, staff members, parents, uh, or community members. So enjoy. All right, our educational website resource for today is bitesmedia.com. This website really provides uh, social study content, civics, media, and literacy, uh, and provides uh, media reporting on current events and why it matters to students. Um, so as you navigate to this site and you simply click browse content, um, you can scroll through these or filter right here through the various topics. There are over 200 um, topics that are uh, world events and they're related to law, politics, science, technology, life, arts, uh, sports, and health. Uh, but more specifically, one that we're going to take a look today um, that has to do with current events uh, with the COVID-19 and coronavirus um, is mental and physical health. So as you take a look at this current event, you know, it's something that's been a little taboo over time, but um, really the physical and mental state of people right now and the importance in which it can bring awareness and educational opportunities for students to understand um, what the world is going through holistically um, is really beneficial. And this can be a cross-curricular topic. Certainly, there are um, very valuable um, points within this topic. So as we scroll down, these are tips for experts on how to stay sane. But as you have students scroll down, for instance, it's going to give you an overview and what is coronavirus, each thing that is stated, um, the importance in terms of social distancing and the effect that um, coming in contact with someone and the infection and how it can spread so uh, vastly. Um, as you can see, you can talk about ratios here. You can talk about proportions within um, the disease spreading or the virus is spreading. And the importance, of course, of self-isolation and that social distancing or physical distancing. Uh, next, it goes on to talk about why it matters. We have here um, a six-minute video on uh, informational and facts that are important to uh, preventative measures that are necessary during this pandemic. Very informational video, talks about the curve, um, has social media content within here and facts that are uh, extremely important. 
So they can scroll through, watch that video, and then down below are tips on physical coping and mental coping and uh, different activities that they can do to just uh, uh, really adjust to this um, world event that's taking place and, and how to deal with it. Um, why it's important for physical um, education and mental education. Um, going through and some of those routines, they give suggestions on quarantine, for instance, mentally, mental meditation, you can work out, um, gives you techniques basically here um, in order for students to cope, exercising, um, going safety outside, uh, some inside activities, cooking, board games, really to keep yourself busy and um, your mental health uh, up to speed, as well as physical help in maintaining, uh, I think they recommend here, um, 150 minutes of moderate working out or 75 minutes of vigorous and intense physical activity. So again, just want to reiterate the cross-curricular that's available within this specific lesson, uh, math, probabilities, ratios within those graphs, interpretation um, of probability that you could have here, historical events and the possible impact in which it has, language arts, obviously, um, making inferences, uh, reading deeply into the text, pulling out those key points, comprehension, uh, providing a summary potentially for students, and then also just the social emotional well-being of this overall lesson would be very valuable. And again, those physical and mental coping skills as it relates to physical education and mental, mental education. So that's what we have for you today. Hope it's helpful. Hopeful kids can um, review this lesson and use it here in the near future, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.